Hi guys and welcome to Get Your Reviews. So I want to update you first before I start my review so you will know what's coming and what I'm planning to do. So first of all, my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles review is late because the movie uh, hasn't been out yet in my country. Uh, some movies uh, are out in the same time that they are in US, but sometimes they are pretty late, like this one. So uh, I'm going to see the movie next week and I'm going to do the review as fast as I can after this. So expect the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles review next week. And in the meantime, uh, my friend Rodimus Prime watched my previous Elysium review from one year ago and we talked about the movie and uh, I mentioned that I haven't seen District 9 till now because uh, when, when it was on I just, just couldn't see it, I, I wasn't so invested in it um, as an idea back then so I just missed it. I promised him that I will watch the movie and I will review it, so here it is. So District 9 is a very interesting movie and a very interesting concept that I've never seen before. First the movie starts like it's a, a documentary about this real life happening that alien ship is, uh, is standing above the ground and the aliens uh, were captured in a way by humans and they are made to live in a place called District 9 and those aliens first time that I saw them I was just like whoa what are what are these insects because they look very strange to me and they spoke uh, their own language it was uh, sounding um, kind of creepy and very deep and the humans uh, understood them and they understood humans uh, so when the movie started I was just wondering what the hell is this, I mean what is this kind of a filmmaking, a documentary, this nerdy guy, uh, we are following him around, they acted like these aliens are animals and the movie was just very hard to watch for me in the beginning, uh, it was not very pleasant and, and it was not very particularly interesting in the beginning because I'm just uh, going into the movie and just wondering what is going on because I never seen uh, a movie done quite like this but as the movie progressed and progressed uh, uh, I started to get the whole picture and where this is going uh, it was amazingly done honestly uh, the story of this nerdy guy that was just thrown into, into this situation uh, what happened to him and how he became a man in a big way because he was so uh, kind of creepy looking and nerdy and you never expect uh, some of the heroic and amazing things that he did later on in the movie the first time that he was um, engaged with this situation uh, he, he acted like every other human being he didn't want anything to do with the aliens uh, he was on the human side but then the humans showed their ugly side our human ugly side just because we are humans we think that uh, it's our right to destroy everything uh, on our planet and, uh, and just because those aliens uh, kinda crash landed here uh, and they can't get out um, we think that we can own them and uh, do whatever we want with them. Of course, uh, there are very realistic points here that uh, if something like this happens, we have to keep everything under control. So we aren't the ones that uh, are going to disappear and, and go extinct. But uh, this movie really shows what in human side uh, we humans have. Uh, just the animal side of us, that we accuse everyone else to be an animal, but not ourselves, sometimes. 
uh, and these aliens became more and more cute and more and more uh, lovable as I was getting more and more invested in this movie uh, I was so into the movie all the time and that's a really a rare thing uh, to have these days to watch a movie and to be so invested in it that you forget actually that you are seeing just a movie you are feeling something for the characters uh, for uh, for the human side, not so much. For the main guy, or the nerdy guy, absolutely, you feel something about him. Uh, because he was the center of the story, and of course the other alien that was the center of the story and became his friend. Uh, so, uh, just uh, the aliens uh, were so cute and so human also, because they are also intelligent beings. They were just put in this situation, and in situation like this, uh, it, it was very important uh, what this movie um, showed and what this movie brought as a, as a meaning because at the end uh, the main guy he decided to leave all his human prejudice and just do the right thing because he saw the human side or what the humans did he saw what he has to do he has uh, he had to help the aliens uh, and that was the right thing to do. Uh, no matter if you're alien um, or you are human, in this case you have to feel what is right and if uh, our people use those um, aliens in uh, disgusting experiments, that's the wrong thing. Uh, and if there's something to be done so they could go home and leave our planet, it's a win-win for everyone. So it was amazingly done movie in an amazingly interesting way, it was very emotional, it was uh, very deep, it was really a surprise like my friend Rodimus Prime said, so thank you my friend, you were absolutely right. Just a unique movie. District 9 is one of the most unique movies that I've seen. I can say that it's my style of movie, uh, but that doesn't matter because it's a quality film. It just it stands on its own uh, and it's just worth seeing. I was emotionally invested in it, I was very impressed by it, I remember it very well still, which is very important because sometimes I just see a movie and then I'm trying to remember what is a, what was it about, but no, District 9 is really, really amazing and quality film. I almost forgot to talk about the effects, just a second guys, so the effects of this movie, because I know that uh, this movie is a very low budget film. Uh, for a sci-fi movie and the effects were amazing the ships uh, the ships they were okay they were good uh, but the aliens themselves uh, there was a photo realistic effect to them uh, sometimes they look kind of like a video game graphics uh, just on some of their textures uh, in some of the shots and angles but most of the time they looked absolutely uh, real as much as possible, of course, uh, and the lighting on the surface of their bodies, their their, their clothes, um, they just just looked amazing, very impressive. The little alien too in the movie, the son of the main alien character, he was cute and uh, he was amazing. That uh, uh, there was so much emotion in their eyes, so much emotion. You can connect with this creature. Through, uh, through his eyes, just amazing, amazing, amazing characters, amazingly done. Uh, this whole film uh, can give you goosebumps. It really could, because it's not just a sci-fi horror movie. It's something special that was obviously a lot of time invested in it. Uh, I can't imagine what the thought process was to think of all this, to, to make it as they made it. Just impressive. Absolutely impressive. So guys, um, if I have to give some, some kind of score for this movie, I would say that District 9 is a definite 9 out of 10. I can't give it a 10 just because, like I've said, uh, in the world there are other movies with even more qualities uh, and other attributes and other values to them 
but uh, this movie is a solid 9, it deserves it, uh, and I think it will go down in history and people will remember it for what it is. Definitely stands on its own. So thank you very much guys for watching, subscribe if you like to see my future videos, follow me on the social media stuff, and till next time with Gerichi Reviews.